My name is Ian Finlay MacLeod and I work with uh, Brainish Tweed and we're a, a weaver of cloth based in the village of Ness in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland. I heard on the island that um, this business was up for sale and I hadn't heard of it before. <clears throat> Ian Sutherland and his wife Diana started it and uh, they'd been going for 30 years and they'd built up a beautiful little business um, selling cloth which was quite unique a, a hand woven cloth but using lightweight yarns and noble yarns like cashmere we use lamb's wool and shetland wool and um, a bit naively maybe uh, I thought I would buy it because it had been for sale for a while the company had been wound down to a large degree as far as customers went so I started then the process of trying to get back you know some customers and build up a, a few sales uh, in the beginning we had still quite a few customers who because of the nature of the business and because of the product that it was making people were very fond of it and it's dif different to other cloths as well we've got some customers who buy lengths of it and lay you know lay it down like wine almost they they collect it it had a real aura about it the cloth <clears throat> partly from the, the fact that it was used by such good tailors you know the best tailors in the business really it was good to re-establish these links you know and with uh, for example Savile Row and we were lucky to get a, a couple of agents one in America and we deal with um, some very good tailors in America I started to travel and I hit the road and so I went to where uh, Ian had his strongest customers, places like um, London, Vienna as well. I went to New York and then I went to Japan as well. And we'd never sold anything to Japan, but now that's our biggest market. Yes, I'd, I'd say that I was um, very proud to be working in the industry. There's uh, the great cloth producing areas of Britain. It's, it's quite amazing the skill and the quality of cloth that they produce. But um, as well, uh, it's it's very important to me that, um, yes, traditions kept going, but also that um, work is brought to the island, for example, and that things happening in the village, and to have this connection with, me, for example, major cities in the world, and for us to be based here, it's um, very satisfying. On top of that, I think the, the fact of when you see uh, something you've woven or been involved in weaving transformed into a garment and then by someone who's a great craftsman in their, their own right, a bespoke tailor, for example, it's uh, extremely satisfying and real, you know.